Hello, bedwetters, my sweet angels. Look, I've got to be honest, we've had a wee bit of a technical issue with the podcast you're about to hear, which is a bit of a shame. We tried everything we could to make it as perfect as possible, but hey, this is a big bucket of shit, so what do you expect? Um, We do apologise that the audio will be a little bit shit, just this one episode. We fixed it for the Patreon, so that will be normal. Um, It was just a wee bit of a muck up, so apologies in advance for the audio quality. Won't happen again. We love you so much, and you're all very clever, aren't you? Ciao, ciao. Now, Lulu, what did we do last week, bud? We can't say too much. Oh, we can't say too much, but we got to be very clever little senior readers in the TV show, didn't we? We did. Now. It was I at me. In what sense? That there were so many people there, and like, the production for one scene. Mate, wild. Like, it was pretty fucked when you think about it. It was fucking wild. Like, yeah. That was, so, essentially we were we were sort of uh, asked to come along and do some content, basically, for them. For Paramount. Hopefully we'll be in this TV show. Oh, my fingers crossed. I think so. Like, we, we were being positioned, that's the whole point of it. So, you so we were, get a glimpse. We were extras, day in the life of being an extra. A lot of waiting around Well, a lot as of, an extra. A lot of makeup as well. Well, for you there was a lot of makeup, but I believe that, what was your name? Martin. Martin. God, I love it. We're the funniest makeup artist. Uh, one of the great, one of the great makeup artists of all time. Martin, I'd argue. Real, uh, no, a, a 1970s gay man. He was so now, cool. Now, do you want to cool. know who has yarns? Martin. 1970s gay man. They got fucking yarns. What was the one he was telling us? He was just telling, because he was like, he was like, you know, <laughs> insane shit like, you know, I was here dancing on lit up floors while you were just a, like a, a, not even a thought of chilling your dad's sack, that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? He was <laughs> going to fucking like. He was telling us about the yarns, about how it goes through fucking Oxford Street. He's like, this would all have like, you know those light up fucking floors where you put your foot on and they light up and shit? Just telling us great yarns. Did your makeup. He was up very good to me. Very good to me. Yeah, he was good. Because he, he, I sat down and he was like, um, he's like, you don't do this much, do you? And I said, no, I, I don't <laughs> do makeup very much, buddy. He's like, okay, I'm going to be good to you. Didn't put an ounce of makeup on my face. He just put glitter. We were doing a, it was a Mardi Gras scene that made the All part. through the mullet. Sorry. For, yes. Glitter, one of the great cunts of all time. Hey, how do you think I felt? My entire eyelids were covered in glitter. I could not get that off for two days. I'd wake up and be like, what the fuck is in my eye? Yeah, but a giant piece of glitter. You want to know the difference, Lulu? Is that I don't, I'm not supposed to have glitter on me. You can get away with glitter. I went, I'd fucking go to the gym or something and I'd, I'd look in the mirror and I'd have like, I'd do fucking, I'd do, look how long my chest hair is. Sprinkles on your chest. I'd just shave my chest to get fucking, the glitter. Get, because it, come, it would not come off. Mm. Glitter all over my back, glitter on my hair. Look like a unicorn finished on you. <laughs> Correct. I look like I've been in an orgy with unicorns. Um, fucking, and you know how we were doing that spotted thing? So we, me and Lou do this fucking... The first, it's like, how early in the morning was it? It was like 8, oh, probably 9 a.m. Nine and Josh is walking along and there's a Lou's group, all dolled up. A group of tradies, I'm in this sequin outfit. Josh has got glitter. I've got, I'm hair. dressed up in my outfit. I've got glitter all through my hair Colourful top. Colourful top. Fucking, These blokes. You know, and then you just see, you just see, right. No, there's a bloke, yeah, sitting in the van with a bloke sitting there like this. You see it. Josh? Oh, look. Here you go, mate. He's like, yeah, good. <laughs> I was like, perfect. First, <laughs> first bloke I see, I'm glittered to the fucking to I the wish, sack. I wish they did been like, can I get a photo? That would have been good. That would have been good. But what can I, can I, uh, may I, may I pull you up on something? Please proceed. <laughs> Willie, one of the funniest fucking things that I've seen in recent history, right? Lulu is like a child. We all have a bit of that child, that that child in us. You know, did I just pick a thing again? Probably. For fuck's sake. We've all got a bit of that in a child that likes to come out. But Lulu, when she's in foreign situations, it seems to come out more than other people. 
Now, they're looking after us. You know, they've got us in their little special area. And they basically like come, people will always come up to you and ask you if you want shit. Like, now I'm making rocks, would you like a drip of water? Okay, we've got fruit over there. There's, there's bacon and eggs rocks. <laughs> we're sitting there, this woman comes up, she goes, now, would you like us? Oh, I'm fine, I'm all good. She goes to Luke, now, would you like a banana or something? And Luke goes, no, I'm, I'm fine. Because, well, I've had a Portuguese tart. <laughs> and I'm looking at Luke. And the lady goes, Okay, but would you, would you like a banana? No, I'm fine. Um, can I go to the bathroom? And I'm like, the lady's like, yes, you can, you can go to the bathroom. Josh goes, you are 30. You can do what you want. Yeah, I literally go, you're 30 years old. I think you can go to the bathroom, buddy. I'm like, dude, you literally revert back to being a child. This woman asked you if you're a banana, if you wanted a banana, and you sounded so proud. You, well, I've had a Portuguese tart. I've had a Portuguese tart. <laughs> she's like, I've okay. had a Portuguese tart. <laughs> she's like, okay, but do you, do you want a banana or something? You missed this part, but you know Fuck how there was that bloke going round who was sort of like picking up everything. He was kind of like the, the I don't know, what do we call him, the foreman, like on site, to so like running around after everyone. He goes, was this your coffee? And I think that it spilled on the leather couch. Yeah. It wasn't mine, but it was one of the ones that we bought. Mm. And I go, oh, but, uh, 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 I don't, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Why did I look guilty? And then he was like, well, it's going all over the leather. And I was like, it, but th- this was mine. <laughs> this was mine. Because I had out of my hand. I was like, I'm going to put this one in the bin. <coughs> this one's going in the bin. And he was just like. Just over explaining. Pick up the spill one. I was like, eh. <laughs> you, you should have done. You should have gone after your first little fuck up. You should have gone. You know what they say? You know the same way. The fuck. The both. Find it. The final cof- coffee. Look up. Also remember that chick up. So now we're accessorising this right. Get get getting our costumes sorted. And there's a fucking there's fucking people everywhere. Fucking heaps of them. And like. Costumes, tents, you get it changing. Was huge. It was fucking like chaos. the production was unreal. Yeah. Anyhow, as it's a party grass, you can imagine there's some pretty fucking out there costumes. So we're standing at the table where they accessorise you. Get, they're trying to pick bracelets, bracelets and necklaces for a fucking um, earrings. You know, I've got an earring put in, all this shit. And there was just this chick standing there waiting to be accessorised who was very willing to chat with her tits out. She had tassels. She had tassels on the tits, but fully, essentially like G, like string on. Yeah. Everything else. Lots of glitter people everywhere. Were, lots of people tits were out. And she's like, that one's a nice one. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's a good one. No, that's not what happened. Jarch goes, well, you probably need to put a put a cape on when we're walking to the next location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was like, you probably want to cover up when we're going up the well, street because... Perhaps not. I can see your tits. Jack. Buddy. Perhaps anyway, you wanted to walk Which up. I hated that part of it. It would have been a working out for your eyeballs. Just trying yeah. To <laughs> yeah. You're just trying to look. Yeah. So what, what do you got, What do you do as a, for a living? Anyway, Steph, no, I hated that bit. Fuck, babe. Like, I was pissed off about it. I actually had a word to the staff afterwards. I said, don't ever put me in that position again. Where there are tits everywhere and stuff. Yeah. Because I was fucking fuming. Did you? Mate, I was fuming. I said to Steph when I got home, fucking disgrace, babe. Like, what they did to me today, man. I think you said, can I come back the next day? <laughs> yeah. Can I yeah. for Friday's shoot? Hey, daddy don't mind a bit of extra work. A lot of waiting around. Sorry. Clarify it. Daddy's yes. Fuck, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, what about or the, the woman who said that she worked in security for? Was it? Yeah, I got a, 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 a minor company. And I said, "So, what sort of metal do you protect?" Oh, uh, she goes, <laughs> "No, no. What was it?" She's like, "That work. It, it's precious metals." I said, "The diamonds, gold." Yeah, and Lou goes, "Oh, so like diamonds?" And I went, "Idiot!" And I go. And a precious metal, Louisa? <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, what would it, what would it, what would it, well, it's diamonds aren't metal. But what would a precious metal be? Gold? A pre- gold. Silver. So, technically, I was right. I said diamonds, gold, and you silver. You said, no, you fucking know. I right. said gold and silver. You're lying fuck. I'm fucking not. I said it. 
Louise. Jackie Vinacho, I remember vividly in Louisa my brain. Louisa Clear Dowden, I, I said, said that. You said, what is that, like diamonds? No, because I remember saying steel as well. <laughs> is it steel? Well, which one is it? Did you say diamonds, gold and silver? Or did you say diamonds, steel? I don't remember this list that you I remember rattled off, sweetheart. I remember rattling all of them off at different times throughout the conversation. Art of bullshit. Gold, frankincense and myrrh? Not true. <laughs> Not true. Three, three wise men. One said, no, I don't know what else not. You did do it, kid. You well, said diamonds, kid. All right. You know what? What? Shove that piece of steel right up your ass. Well, I had the a Portuguese tart. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep saying it the entire time. Oh, day. I could. It made me laugh so fucking much. <laughs> Can I go to the bath? And the funniest thing about it was the level difference. Lou was sitting down like this. And the bird was standing up being like, just so would you like some fruit or anything? Well, ah, and she's looking up at her. Ah, I've had a Portuguese start. And her hair's like, <laughs> she moves her head, shook her head, and she's real proud. <laughs> Fucking made me laugh. Um, oh, shit. But yeah, what an experience, Lulu. So we can't really talk about it. We've um, This is like when influencers go, I've got a really special protein oh, coming up. Yeah, they can't really talk fuck, about it. Fuck That's us. us. Fuck us. Speaking of special projects... Great segue, that's what they do in radio. Really? Probably mostly breakfast. What, like, yeah, which time slot? Pro- pro- uh, breakfast, which is like 6 till 9. 6 till 9. 8. How the fuck do you know? What, well. What gives you the, what, what gives you the gall to be able to speak on behalf of breakfast radio? Well, People who have worked in that industry and specifically in that time slot, maybe a producer. What gives you the gall? Well, what, what, what? To speak on that. Audacity do you have telling me that I am Well, I. Uh, well, I. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck me, Swigan. Oh, back to my special project. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, yesterday I, I. Oh, fuck, here we go. I saw some things around my house and I thought, money needs to get a little bit of DIY. DIY Delden is what they call me in my spare time. Now. Is that right? You know, they keep texting on your phone? No, I'm going to find the text you sent. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I was DIYing. So I got the super glue out. I stuck this thing back on my door. Stuck my mirror on a bit tighter. Sc- screw drove, screw drive my table up a lot tighter. Screw drive it. Sc- uh, screwed it in. Good tightened it. Yeah. Tightened the fuck. I really, 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 really yeah. right underneath. I yeah. got around all the bolts. Okay. And I thought. Also, a lot of people DMing me going, "Should TDD be doing this?" Well, he didn't do it while he was here on the weekend. So independent LDD. Looks like mama. Mama had to take you know? control of the And then I, I, had, I had this overwhelming sense of maybe this is my passion, a bit of DIY. And then I, I said, you have a couple of messages. No. I said. You said, out of the fucking blue, I'd like to make something. What's simple? Like a table or a stool? <laughs> and I was like, ha, 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 why do you want to make a table? <laughs> you are like. It would be therapeutic to build, I think. Like sawing and sanding. I had my DIY day with super glue. <laughs> Fuck is so I've just naturally just ignored it. I've just gone on to other things. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let this fucking woman do it. Super glue is terrifying. <coughs> Got it all over my fingers because I forgot to unscrew the lid. So I was putting the don't. So I was putting it on and I was like, why the fuck is it not coming out squeezing it so hard? The blue lid was still on. Oh, so then when I took the blue lid off, but obviously went ever and then I was going, ah! it sticks so, so fast so yeah, quick. Yeah, it's super glue. It's, yeah, well, no shit. <clears throat> it got sticky pretty quick. Got that gorilla grip. And it was so white. It, it was just... Uh, it was everywhere. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I finally figured out how to put it on. And then you got... Because I had... This bit at the bottom of my door had come off. So I was pushing it so hard to try and get it to stick. And then I'd get some of it sticking, and then the other bit would just pop off and just go... Yeah. <clears throat> Can I make a... Just a general request. Yeah. I'd love for you not to get into DIY. Right, because, you, look, if you're fucking around with super glue, that's weed you out. I'd hate to see you with any sort of power tool. Sawing, sanding. You're going to lose a limb, kid. And I need you, I need you full of limbs. I've got this... Let me paint a picture for you. Paint so... It. We're downstairs in my garage, yep. so we'll have to reverse, we'll have to drive our Fonzo out mm-hmm. next to the the sauna that is, you know, this one in Rose Bay, quite close to mine. Sorry? Yeah, there's 
That's where I'll do my DIY, close to the... Next to the sauna? Yeah, the, the one... Oh, you've got a sauna. No, no, you know how there's one in Rose Bay quite close to my house? Yeah, really super fucking close. Yeah, 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 yeah. so we'll do it there. Yeah. So you, you get Alfonso out. I put on my um, my white wraparounds. Sorry, my, my clear wraparound shades. Because yeah, yeah. I'm doing DIY. Yeah. I've got a big beach in front of me. And then some some tartan shirt, maybe some like old jeans covered in paint. I've got my steel cap boots on. I borrowed TPDs. So they fall what size foot is it? <laughs> Fucking that thing. Yeah, correct. And so I've got those on. Yeah. And I'm, I'm stomping around. Yeah. And then you just hear the... Yeah. And that's me cutting up the, the legs of the chair that I'm about to build. Also your own legs, presumably. Because <laughs> you will fuck you And then I've got some... Up. I've got some vine, some... Yep. You know the thing that... Yeah. What's it? Vine. No, yeah. you know the one. Yeah, you've got vine. And I'm painting. Yeah, I'm vine. I'm painting the chair away. So you've got paint. <laughs> but I'm vinyling the chair away. And I'm vines. going up for it. And then I leave it there to sit. I'm outside. I'm sitting on one of the other chairs I've made. I'm smoking a cigar. I'm puffing away. One of the, You know how the, my neighbours always stand outside? There's like seven blokes always stand outside. Yes. They go, hey, Lou, how's it going? I go, just make it a chair, mate. I needed a rocking chair for up in my lounge. I'm puffing my cigar. And then the vinyl's done. It's sealed. And I bring the chair up to my lounge, and I sit back, smoke my cigar inside. Yep. The smoke machines go off. I don't give a fuck. The smoke I'm, machines? I'm rocking. You're in a club. <laughs> smoke a lot. Go so yep, yep. And I'm rocking back and forth. I've still got my steel cap boots on. Have you? And they're up on the stool that I've made the previous week, mm. also vinyl. Mm. And I'm just laxing back with oh. my cigar. And I'm livid. Maybe a glass of whiskey. If you really wanted to paint a picture, if you really wanted to paint a picture... You, you even trying that? Yeah. You will paint a picture. Once again, it will be a Jackson Pollock on your garage floor with your blood. You're going to hit that artery. You're going to nick the artery in your leg. It's going to go... <laughs> you're going to lay there kicking like this. Blood everywhere. Spraying, spraying. I'll walk down. Like, oh, the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> and you will die. Please don't get into any woodwork. But what's something fun, hobby, DIY I can do? Do you know goes, bud? No. Come on. I'm, better, I'm bigger than that. You're not. I'm better and bigger than that. You're not. What about like a pottery class? What about pottery? Ooh. Bring yourself a vase or something. No one can. Oh, I tell you what, I can't stand. Pottery could be yeah. fun. Uh, like, you know, dry it on your hands. Clear, okay, put it in the kiln. How do you think I felt with the super glue? No, 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 no. The, the, like, you know when it's not, not shiny and smooth clay, like it's out of the kiln, it's dried, uh, it's the same as the petal pop sticks. That feel. Oh, the coarse texture. Mm-hmm. Fuck. You wouldn't like the feeling of super glue on your fingers. Remember when you used to paint your fucking hands with PVA glue and then peel it off? Mm. That was... I used to eat... Um, oh, fuck. Glue. Oh. <laughs> I used to call it you know, Louie Louie. You know the ones, <laughs> not, not that good. You know the Lou, ones that you twist? Louie Louie's, please stop eating the pies. You know the ones you Were twist? You no, the twisty ones. Yeah, the ones in the yes. stick. Stop doing that and they used to shit. smell. Ah. Uh, you know, but you know the ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to have a little munch. Yeah, yeah, practice. No, I had a little munch. Show us how you munch it. Like, um, no, I had the munch on that. Did you have to twist? Glue. Didn't you have to twist and then put it in your mouth? So show us the motion. No, it's because we'd often make macaroni paintings. And so you'd use PVA glue, but then if you had to put little things on, you'd use that glue. And I just had a little mint. Those. The you, Yuhu stick. Yuhu glue. We, they weren't called that in New Zealand, but that's exactly it. What were they called? The Lulu stick. Yeah. Eight year old Lou's lunchtime snack. <laughs> well, they were cool. It's fucking hell. That I, I used to eat Play Doh as well. Yeah, we know, yeah. yeah. But that is, it explains a lot, bud, doesn't it? Really? But that was young before eight year old Lou came out. That was like before. That I was eating Play Doh. That's probably a good thing, buddy. It's salty, though. Like, you could eat it, you could bake it. Mm, no. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I, I remember vividly, Jack. It was salty. You could bake a lot of things. Yeah, probably not a wise idea. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I wouldn't recommend eating Play Doh, but like, if you have a little bit, then fuck it, go for it. I might bake something. Sorry, are you, <clears throat> just for clarification, are you saying you could eat Play Doh? Yes. Yeah. Play Doh. Both, Jack. Now, who was Play Doh? Play Doh was one of Aristotle's bestest friends. <laughs> they were, not far off, kid. They were very. And talk mentee sort of stuff. Yeah, and they, they would build together. Yep. And they would smoke cigars. They would have saunas. They would do hot girl laps. 
Oh, speaking of hot girl abs, Lou going on about fucking her foot being fractured. Well, it is. Now, what's the diagnosis? Well, I went to the podiatrist. Because you did a whole story the other day about, if it's not fractured, yeah. Well, I haven't got my scan yet, but it's, I've got plantophilanthropus or whatever that fucking thing is. Plantophilanthropus. So, so not a, you haven't broken your foot. Well, I have to get all... Orthotics. That's like orthopedics. Orthotics. Orthotics. So, Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, they don't miss you. Mate. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I have to get scanned, and then we'll know if I've got a heel on a fracture. But I was hobbling all weekend. Fuck. Hold on. No. What? Just... Fuck, Lily. Just two seconds. My pockets don't have five hundred dollars. Oh shit. My pockets don't. Have five. You're right. What the fuck? You're right. What the heck? Oh, no, you're right. Sure because at this stage, but you, you know think what? at this stage of the podcast, because of the shame that I put myself in my family through, I should be $500. Well, with cash. Is it? You're right. Yeah, so. But I, I, I've added something to this. So you get your $500 cash, and then you get 500 raspberries on your tongue. The, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> get the fuck away Get the fuck <laughs> Imagine getting 500 raspberries. So where's my 500 oh, down? Jack, I told you I went for my hot girl lap this morning to the bank, Commonwealth Bank, closed at 7am. And I don't have a card. Nothing's on. You there. didn't go to the bank. I went past it. You didn't think about it. Can I, do you want to have a look at my phone? It says, no, no, I, I, it says bank, 6.55am. So I did go past it. Thank you very much. Why would you go, why would you go to the bank and it was, you know that bank's not open to nine. Well, I didn't know that until I went past. How do you not know that? Well, because sometimes you can, not the bank, like the people, the tellers. It's always a little bit open where you so, can go in on your own. And that was open? No. Hmm. Really? Because that's open 24 hours, Lou. That's, that's, those are ATMs, but. Yeah, well, I was. So that seems strange. That seems oddly strange to me. And then I thought, you know so what? So you went into that area, didn't you, to get yeah, the money and then, out? And then I thought, yeah, you know what? what? Fuck it. Let's. Let's save the environment and not just keep printing cash and let's let's pay into your account. I prefer the cold hard cash. Can well, you? no, because I know where that's going. Straight past the oak to the pokies. Yeah, hence why I prefer the, the cold well, hard cash. Well, do you want the do you want the bank transfer right now? Or do you want the cash? I'll be once that cold hard cash. Okay, well Daddy's gonna have to drive Thursday. To- no, you can the, drive me out. Okay, you want it in the cash? Yes. Hey, I'll put the reminder again. Chop, fucking chop, kid. Hey. We hang it all day. We do. We literally do have all day. Well, we don't. Oh, my nose keeps running lately. Come look it. <laughs> pick and flick. Yeah, come pick and flick. Pick and flick. Okay, I'll put a reminder. 1 p.m. Bank. Um. Well, tell me about your weekend. Anything of note? Do you want to know a funny one? Yes. Well, I'll spin it. Spin it pretty good. So this weekend, had a, last weekend, had a pretty cruisy one. Yeah. Me and the boys were like, fuck me. Let's get off the grogs. Let's do something. Relatively fresh. We were meant to go to Paddy. What's it called? VR. We were meant to get a VR on Friday night, but TDD had a bit too much on and couldn't he can sleep for Australia. He sleeps like 16 hours. Well, the kid had a bit on. Yeah. He had a bit quick. Fucking. So anyway, we go to the, we go to Moore Park. We're like, let's go to Moore Park. They've got a fucking indoor racing track there. They've got 10 pin ball. They've got an arcade. The boys go, so men, four or five nights. We go, yeah, this is fresh. Beautiful day. We went and had a feed. There was markets on there. Had these mad tacos. Uh, there was a bloke singing. This dude singing. Cool. Real good looking rooster. Fucking tats all over, big, good looking roast, a beautiful voice. And as I walk past, he's singing this really nice song and he's like, Love the body, mate. Oh, on the and microphone. I said, Fuck yeah, dude. Anyway, so we go to this arcade. I'm like, This is a fresh day. Now, the boys are, they're partial to, uh, they're like gummy treats. Oh, narcotics. <laughs> Sorry? Narcotics. Well, they've all got glaucoma. So it's good for them. So the boys were like, uh, right, right. So the boys were like, let's have it. Let's have some gummies. I'm not into that shit. You didn't have one. I was at like, nah, Be honest, swear on my life. Swear on my life. I don't fucking 
It's oh, in the oh, like your it. hiding. Yes, it's not for me. Didn't know if you're hiding it in the podcast. No, 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 not for me. He's lost a train of thought. No, no. You don't want to say. Let that. me read. Let me. There's rates of him getting on the gummies. No, no, no. Let me <laughs> let me retell this yarn okay. with that as the punchline, because that'll make it funnier. You'll understand. You'll understand. No, we're keeping this in. We're not fucking cutting it. Fucking cut we're fucking cutting it. You're a fucking coward. You're a fucking coward, you fucking coward. mother. <laughs> so we go. So the guy. I'll go from the guy. Yeah. Sorry, you're just fixing up your tits there, Luke. <laughs> Sorry. Everything all good? Yeah, I'm the ledge under there. Cool. Okay. The under boob. That's fine. Anyway, so we're going, let's go to the arcade. Let's go and play some games in the arcade. You know, you've got fucking the punching machine, air hockey, basketball shooting, throwing balls of shit. You've got Mario Kart, all the different stuff. Like, let's go have some fun. Anyway, we're having a great time. Mate. We're it having a, sounds mate, it. Mate, we're having a rip of time. Yeah. I'm, and I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, fuck, I am on fire today. I'm like, the boys are really getting around my jokes. Because these are blokes that I've grown up with who are basically sick to fucking me. Yeah. You know, they've heard every well, joke in their repertoire. Similar to me. Hurtful. <laughs> so, and I'm just going like, I'm just dropping jokes here and there and I'm getting some good responses. They're giggling. And I'm going, fuck. And I'm like, sort of like, it's as I'm shooting, feeling. as I'm shooting, I'm like, hey, buddy, you, you have off days, you have on days. You're on today. Yeah. Anyway, we leave the arcade. I'm in great spirits. I've got the most points. I've got a beer, a beer drinking helmet where you put the helmet yeah. and put two beers in. Oh, well, that's cool. With my points. I'm like, fuck yeah, I've had a great I've had a great time. There's a place in the EQ, it's Wings Beers Sports Bar. I go, let's go get some wings. Yeah. Have a fucking skirt. Love wings. Go there. And I'm like, oh, I am. I'm, I'm dropping jokes at lunch. The boys that are giggling. I'm watching the AFL. I'm just like, fuck, King, King you were on fire. And one of my mates, he's just sitting there and he's staring at him in the distance. I'm just watching him. He's gone. And I'm like, you're good. He's like, yeah, fuck. Sorry, mate. I just went somewhere. I'm like, what happened? He's like, fuck. His gummies are gnarly. I'd forgotten. All the boys had eaten gummies. Okay. Okay. They were all high as kites. Would, would Daddy like some of them go surfing? Uh, before we do that. Yes. We, we had this conversation in the car the other day. I've realised because I forgot to eat them on Friday night. Mm. You know how we were driving back from work and it was like rainy, it was horrible weather. Yeah. And I was saying, you know how like you get a sting to go to the pub? Someone on like a Saturday you got nothing to do. Your mate's like, should we go for a skirt? The sun's out, summer. Yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. I'm st- you get that stick on, really silent. And then when we were driving back there, I was pissing down with rain. Absolutely bucketed. At bucketed. And then I was like, Fuck, how could we be just be cozed up in a pub with a warm whiskey? But like it's the same thing. fucking feeling. Ed and I did that, but we went like, I trained, boxed, sorted, ice, ice bath, the chip. And then we went to the Bellow for a um, to watch the Chooks who fucking was. And it was heaving in the Bellow. Burma was there, Streety was there. Fucking met a few bedwetters, shout out to Maddie and her old man. They were from Wagga, shout out to them. Fucking, they sat with us and watched the footy. And it was blowing a gale outside, and me and Ed were there. Cut my mouth, it was a bit of a whiskey. And I was just in fucking and it's, heaven. It's actually terrible how everyone's always like, yeah, but it's like so much easier to chill in winter. You know, it's like the, <laughs> it's not. not- Getting into a cosy pub and having a nice tequila oh, or a glass of red wine. God. Negroni in a, on a cosy winter's day. Come on. Oh, chef's kiss. It's chef's kiss sort of stuff. It is. And uh, we often go and kiss the chef. Well, I, After we've had our schnitties. I'm actually, I, I'm banned from many, many <laughs> licensed <laughs> establishments. From kissing, kissing the chef. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fucking, it was a great little weekend. I also wanted to shout out Lulu. Me? To Perry. So when I was in this, I was in extra, you know, the extra clubs. It's yeah. anti-fitness, but for wellness. Fucking red hot joint. Got your sores, your ice baths, your fucking... Do you pay for this? What? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to them. They've been very kind of me, giving me a little bit of shit. Hey, guys. 
Mummy wouldn't mind one. Well, I spoke to the bloke. He's like, I tried to get on the loo and I told you. I don't you, know where they you, tried to you get panicked. onto me. You panicked and didn't want to reach back out to them. But where did they get onto me? Dams. Right. And you're usually all over that. Yeah. Anyway, there's this English bloke and I'm in the ice bath or fucking whatever. And he's like, mate, I just want to tell you, he's like, my dad, my, my old man loves the fucking podcast. And I'm like, is that right? He's like, yeah, mate, he loves it. Perry from fucking England. He's a... And apparently, he's taken up a heck of, like, terminology. So, Perry, his old man, will be like, all right, son, we <laughs> Shit like that. Use it. And I was like, I can't not shout him out. Thanks. So, shout out to Perry in fucking England. Shout out to Tommy, you're a good lad. Also, thank you for listening over there, bro. It's fucking grass. The cute mum that came up to us. The cute. In Sonoma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That one doesn't work as well. No. She, she comes in, Dutch and I are sitting down yesterday doing some work, and she goes, um, oh, my daughter loves the podcast. Can I please get a photo? And her daughter's 16, and we were like, oh, Yeah, I'm like, fuck it. I'm that slightly young. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> she'll be listening. But hey. Anyway, shout out to the mum. Yes. The young and her daughter. So, the cute mum. So don't just say, but... <laughs> okay. You well, absolutely do. Of course I do. Jingle, please. So sorry, Jack. Lulu goes surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. So this was a TikTok I saw and it was just a girl. She posted it and said, I want all the girls to comment the craziest thing you've done because I want to see if I'm really that crazy. The comments are fucking unreal. Spin a kid. Okay. I made him cookies frosted with melatonin so I could go through his phone and see who the other girl was. Sorry? She drugged it. Melatonin, like sleeping, natural sleeping. Yeah, drop it. She, she dropped it. She can't be beat it. So he, she could go his phone. Jesus Christ. Fuck me swinging. <laughs> she got full Cardi B on that motherfucker. And then I made him brownies with an entire box of Ducolax du, in it. So he so sh- shit himself. He shit himself after the brownies. Sorry, so this is all just women drugging their respective partners. But well, what a healthy society we live in. I, so actually, I put fentanyl in his fucking his steak and mash. We broke up and he uninvited me to the group trip I was included in, so I contacted the Airbnb host and had their whole reservation cancelled. That's actually fucked. <laughs> it's fucked. What? Keep going, sister. I like this. My ex had me blocked on everything when his birthday was coming up, so I texted him, Texted his mum that I wanted to surprise him and she left the door unlocked so I could come in while they were at dinner. You know, can I tell you something? These are all crimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of them seem there's an element of criminality. I don't know how it would go down if I if I had a girlfriend that had blocked me on everything and then, and then I up. turn up uninvited. That is stalking, but... He kept going back to me and this other woman, so I dated her. Respect. Uh, Respect that. Did they film that by any chance? Can we find any video evidence of that? Jack. I'm asking for a friend. Willie looked at stuff. And it's just research. It's research. It's, it's, it's research and development. Um, found out he was with another girl and broke the lamp in our Airbnb and sprinkled it in his socks. <laughs> like, what? The actual fuck. I actually respect that. It's such a weird genius move. Like, that's a kind of a move. But it's, it's kind of a long game as well. It's so weird. I put 200 plus packets of instant mashed potatoes all over this lawn during a thunderstorm <laughs> the day before he moved in. <laughs> he is fucking red hot. I'm about that. I changed every girl's number in his phone by one number, even his aunt, just in case. Oh, perfect. Good for emergencies. Left eggs all over his room in really discreet places so it would start sticking as they rot, and he couldn't find out why. Ow. <laughs> Have you ever done any psycho shit like this? No! Anything similar? The only thing I can remember is... Oh, murdering your boyfriend at that lookout. That? Yeah. Oh, Aside yeah. from that, um, being like... 17 and on f- May 16, 17, being on Facebook and my boyfriend's Facebook was logged in and seeing this chat between him and a girl who he tried to meet up with. Yeah. I think I was 16 and replied to the chat, what? No, I actually was 16. It was a party days. And um, 
I think I replied to the chat with the girl being like, hey, um, that was fun when we met up. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? What was your yeah. favourite bit about the sex like, that we had? Like, obviously not him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A love Lou, XO, XO. Oh, okay, let me find one more. Hey, the chick that did the mashed potato thing, this is such a way too late joke, and it's not that good. But if the show name was Lulu, it could be <laughs> Lulu goes turfing. So she turfed the ground. Right. I'm happy with it. Okay, last if we could edit that back into where Lou said, <laughs> that'd be great, Lou. Thank you, sir. It'll be seamless, don't worry. <laughs> okay. okay, I've got two. Called the airline and cancelled his family trip to Europe when I caught him cheating and used his card to pay for the cancellation fee. Sad to the family. Yeah, family oh, deserve that. Yeah, but these these birds are fucking. I don't know if it worked, but I scheduled Jehovah's Witnesses to come at seven a.m. on his day off. I love that. Love that. <laughs> I can keep going. These are fucked, but but let me go to the next little go surfing. <laughs> <laughs> this one was so during April Fools. Obviously, they do a few pranks. Love this one. Very wholesome. So a Melbourne tram train driver has said that the train has stopped. The tram has stopped, sorry. So he asks all the passengers to jump up and down. And he was like, it'll just make the thing move a little bit. So then he runs jumping up and down. Like they're fully going poof, poof, poof. And he was like, yeah, I think we might have it. And then he pops his head around. And he's like, hey, guys, April Fool's. And everyone's like, ah! <laughs> That's good. It was very wholesome. It had 948,000 likes. Sorry? That's nearly 1 million, Jack. Wow, she's getting good at maths. Wow. Have you ever you ever gone around April Fools? We did it April Fools. Did we on this podcast? What did we do? We did pretended that we were ending. When? This when, year? Well, last, April Fools, I think. Yeah. Last year. Last year. No, we didn't. Yeah, we, we did something. We did do an April Fools. Did we? Yes. Did we did we try and convince did we try and convince people that the podcast that. would actually be good? Yeah, that's what we've made. Guys, we're changing the content. It's going to be good for Massage my arch. Get your fucking foot off me. Massage it. Yeah, Steph does this to me. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do. I hate more than massaging my foot. I made TDD put ice on mine and then massage the arch. He's a, he's a better man than I. Good boy, TDD. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like oh, just just yeah. think of that, TDD. Sake. What do you want from me? Raise what? the bar. That's what Jill and Frank always say to me when I like do something, you know. Raise the bar. Like, like, like Louisa, just raise the bar. <laughs> just raise the bar. Come on. I'm only so tall. The bar can only be raised so high. I don't think they listen much anymore. I haven't heard any feedback. It's great. It's a great thing. That's probably um, Okay. This guy has done a TikTok on what, like, a list of words that I think would make cute baby names if they didn't have the meanings behind them. Right. So he said, cigarita. Okay. It's like gourmet. I don't mind it. Gourmet is another one. Felony. <laughs> like Melody. Yeah. Rifle. Love that. Venison. Love it's it. Quite like, you know, like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ham yeah. venison. Dear venison. <laughs> I hope you're having it so, okay. when you're on a card. Barn? So, sorry? Barn? Barn. Yeah, I don't mind, it's kind of like Barney. Who's Barn? Me. <laughs> I'm actually happy with that bit in this child. Harmonica? I love that. I love harmonica. Someone laughs at that. Ha! Monica! <laughs> Do I <it> screw <laughs> <in> my mouth? <laughs> Baloney? I like it. Hey, um, I don't think your kid's going to grow up to be very tall. He's probably going to be below me. Oh, I was going to say... Um, I just ran 500k. That's baloney. Yeah, but that's yeah. Mine are puns. Basically. Yeah, but mine's well, just the word. It's just a good gag. I just did the drum noise, but I realised you guys had headphones on. So you- Fuck! Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've got to talk about this. We'll talk about that after this. Banjo. Uh, Fred, you can come in. Jerry, you can come in. But ah, we've had the banjo. Not what the segment was about, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> So I came up with a few of my own. Um, you ever snapped your banjo string? I came up with a few of my own. No, but my brother did. Did he? Wait, what? 
Your banjo string. Oh, yeah, but... I'm circumcised. I can't snap it off. Guys. What? <laughs> I've called your Can friend I not up. just have a segment without you two talking about cocks? Almost certainly not. <laughs> okay. What did you come up with? I came up with a few of my own. Okay, these are going to be fucking good. Vars. <laughs> so this is Vars. Okay, so hold on. Can I make a premonition? Look, <laughs> let's just sat around the apartment. The next thing going to be... TV. No. Table. DIY. DIY. Super glue. It's better than that. <laughs> First name Mike, middle name Rowave. <laughs> it's better than that. Okay, all right, I trust you. Tequila. Shut fucking up. Right. But don't you reckon? Yeah. Like, it's kind of like fancy. Like, oh, hey, this is tequila. Send that to tequila. I send that tequila. Hey, I'm tequila. I don't mind it. That's and very this, strippery. This is a good one. I think you'll like this. Yeah. Blouse. <laughs> hey, I'm Blouse. Come over here, Blouse. Hey, Blouse is. <coughs> These are my children. Blouse, Shoes, and Guernsey. Blouse, Tequila, and Vars. Those are your good together. Kid names. What would you call yours? Diesel. Yeah. Anything else? Oh. No. Do you know what else would be good? I did just see it right in front of my eyes. Good. Lawn. Lord. Lord. Lord, Lord Michaels. Lord uh, Archer. L, that's already a name. L O R N E. Oh, I was thinking L A W E. We know. Lorne Archdale. Lorne Delden. Oh, that called you Yorn Archdale because you're fucking boring. It's fucking good stuff. <laughs> not, uh, what other ones? What can um, we go? Okay. I've got one more little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. But let's see. You want to cut? Okay. Go on. Cat. Tripod. Hey, this is tripod. Hey, body. Uh, that's actually that's a nickname I've had for a while. Because <laughs> you cock it's so. Cock jacket. Yeah. I was literally twelve in a t-shirt from JJ's that said "gifted," and I had a man with three legs. But why was I why doing you? that? Yeah, why you? I think I. Pocket money and would have bought it myself. Like John uh, Franco would buy an apple. I do not doubt that. I used to go to pumpkin patch at Punch HPK Jill. Pumpkin. We'd do a summer and a winter shop. Pumpkin would be good, that. Pumpkin, yes. Or pumpkin. You would have loved coming on my eight year old Lou um, shopping summer and winter shops. What are you going to touch on that? Why would I? Well, I would have loved going on your shops. Summer and winter shops. Can you imagine Jill standing outside the changing room and me coming out on an all matching parachute skirt? <laughs> <laughs> you had to shop for clothes, then she just had to buy king size sheets. She had to buy beds in them to tie you. you. I come out in a hazmat suit. <laughs> Which is literally a mat. You're at a carpet store. I just wear a mattress. Hey, um, we need to go and get, Franco, we've got to go and get Louise through your raincoat. Yeah, just head down to Bunnings, they've got a heap of tarp. Get to the tarp hole and, again. Franco cuts a hole out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, one more article. All right. So, Cafe Pacific has introduced a sanctuary on board one of their Boeing 77s, mm-hmm. and it's got a gym. So Sorry. it's actually cardio machines. 7-7, seven, seven, Boeing 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep, little meditation What's a Boeing 7-7? Seven, seven? It's a big seven. fucking plane. It's a big jet jack. I've never heard Go of back it. to what we're talking about. The, they should be able to go, you know what? I'm going to go for a little meditating zone. I'm going to go for a run on my cardio. I'm going to go pump some tin. You see these guns? You see these? What these are made out of in the air? Let me show you armpits. Dumbbells. I did because I did them this morning. Damn, I tried to get you. Dumbbells. These That's are made out of dumbbells. These big old guns. And you know what? You got two tickets to the gun show. You know, my, one, of, one of my mates had two... You got seats. mates? Wait. Yeah, yeah, one of my mates. Well, I call it mates. It was just a guy I used to watch from afar. Yeah. He had two sisters called Isabel and Annabelle. Both fucking dumb as dog shit. They were dumbbells. Jack. They were dumbbells. Oh. So, yeah, we're back. He's <laughs> literally about to go... You can't say that about your friend. <laughs> and then I realised we're back there. Yeah, we're back. Um, so, Jim on a plane. Yeah. Imagine that thing starts going down, fucking iron going through the windows. 
No, I'm sure they'd be locked in. Probably, you know what I'd imagine? There'd be a dumbbell station and you'd have to type in a code to get the dumbbell out and then put it back in. Oh, I, I, I disagree with that. Okay. Each to their own. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't I think that's what it would be. How big is this gym? Does that far out of the gym? Yeah, it's not that big. Well, but it's big enough. Like, I, I wouldn't be mad. That size. Can we? You know. You're really the place. That's very cruel. What? Oh, shit, that's all. No, you're... What the fuck? This looks like the dumbest fucking gym. What? It's Sorry. fucking free treadmills, dude. There's no way. Are you looking at the side? There's what? 3Ds. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but it's a gym. There'd be dummies. There's no dummies. You'd be in there, so there would be. <laughs> Wax. Double wrecking in one segment. I can't believe you. Write that down, Lily. I can't it. believe you've done that. Put a tally. Oh. Double wrecking. Thank you. I was just about to say that. Dude, that, that sucks. Sorry, dude. I, it's a dumb gym. Well, I'm, I'm going to say you wouldn't say no if you were on Cafe Pacific Gold Class. Then you wouldn't say no to going for a little stomp, would you? Would you say no to going for a little stomp to ease the legs? I wouldn't get to Gold Class. I would be in Gold Class. You? No. Oh. No, I haven't. You never got one. You never been to Gold Class? Never missed one. What? You better miss one. Wait for your birthday. Mommy might take business class to Cafe. Adelaide. Fucking wouldn't mind that, mate. Adelaide's a hell of a spot. Keep your keep your compliments up and your nice words of affirmation to the big dog LDB. You might get a nice birthday present. You know words of affirmation. Mm. Not about. Not about. So you don't like people saying nice things to you? No. I used to hate no, nah, it, it's got to come from the right person. I like people telling me nice things if it's from the right person. What are, what's, your lo- what's your love language? Buy presents. I like to buy people presents. See, I'm also the same. I'm a big gift giver. But then I quite like presents myself. I like, I like presents to too. And I, like I, presents. I don't like being... I don't like... Steph's some real words of affirmation. The fuck that that's even in my I'm vocabulary. Is gifts, stuff. words of affirmation and physical touch, which is bizarre. Fucking bullshit. No, I am now. I'm oh, very touchy bullsh- feel it. I'm coming over for a hug. No, 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 no. We've hugged, we've hugged earlier. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, 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 because... I like what, words of affirmation. But sometimes you're just like, okay... Fuck. What does she want you to say? Let's do a role play. Hello. Uh, Jack. Do you want this pizza? Hey, Jack. Hey, man, I'll get this pizza with you. For you. I'm doing me. the role it's play. It's an old I'm doing the role play. Oh, oh. You're sitting at home in the lounge. She's just got one. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Um, oh, hey, God. Jack. That makes I'm in trouble. So. Oh, hey, Jarch. Hey, Jarchy. What's up, bitch? I've had such a shit day. I've, you know, this happened at work and, and, and then my car broke down. Who gave your skin up, kid? I just feel like I just, you know, like a, like a hug and maybe I got my hair done. So, you know, I'm feeling nice. And yeah, you look, you look really great. It's good. good. Yeah. Your norks are perkier than usual. And you, more damn, more, damn, that ass got... More in depth about character. More in depth. Oh. Her character. She's oh. had a tough day. So how are you going to make day. her feel better? There's 50 bucks. Go down and get lollies. Get I'll dates. take that, but I still want more nice words. What a tremendous aura you have. Mm-hmm. V- 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 you're a so Virgo. My day, right? my so day Mercury was, must my be My day was shit. So this happened. Something happened and then my car broke down. So how are you going to make me feel better? Where's your fucking car? You call the owner, mate? Yep, they came and towed it and now I'm so sad. So, yeah. How much? Well, have you got a service lately? Yeah. You haven't got a fucking service. Fair. It cost me a thousand dollars. Oh no. It cost me a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think sometimes it's too much. You know what I mean? When people are just always, always just like, okay, fucking hell. Well, what's your love language? I've told you. But so all you want is gifts. No, no, I, I don't care about anything. No, Why that's not true. Gifts? Everyone has something that they like. I know, but I'm not that. I'm not worried about. You it. need to do the quiz. Next podcast, we'll do it. What is that? Is it what your love language is? Quiz. Love language. Fuck me, dude. No, we must do it. You know what I mean? Like, what's it doing? 
You're Love very it. nasty. I'm not. And cynical and and negative. Okay. And you don't remind me of Aristotle or Plato at all. I just think because love language is subjective. You're a good kick kit. You're an elva. You're a good kick. <laughs> no, I just think I just You don't think. There's oh, nothing going on up there. Sometimes I just think it's been ridiculous. I think you're ridiculous. I think you look ridiculous today. Sorry? And I know you're wearing that hat to cover that giant pimple that looks like a unicorn here. Yep. Jackpot. Put the back on. Well, I know you're wearing those fillies to cover those titties. <laughs> Who put the fillies in? I did Who put the chink of fillies in front of me and Willie before? I don't know what you're speaking about. You fillied up, didn't you? I did not. I did not want a huh? chili filly steak sandwich. You're a little chicken filly? I thought we were going to chuck something in the microwave and have an early lunch. We are and not going to spend off a lunch. That were your chicken filly snitties. We were having chicken filly snitties. So your chicken filly snitties on your titties. We're, we're on Patreon now. Sorry? So you can say goodbye to everyone. Hooray, bad winners, keep pissing. Love you. <laughs> Stick but around that's the sort Patreon. Of, that's the sort of switch we're looking for. Thanks, guys, and chub chub. <laughs> <laughs>